Well, good day YouTube and welcome to another episode of Let's Copy Our Good Buddy Lee. And today on the Albino Rhino Beer Review, we will be looking at a barrel series beer from Innocente. Innocente. This is the Innocente Southern Justice. And right there, you can see what it says. And... If you cannot make that out, what it says is... Tennessee Whiskey Barrel Aged Saison with Ontario Peaches. <laughs> wow. 10.5% uh, alcohol by volume. Um, let's not even get into what I feel about that. You all know my, my feelings on uh, the ABV of... Of Saisons. Wow. Look at that beer. Look at that beer. Holy shit is that hazy. Beautiful bright white head. Beautiful orangish yellow haze. Let's give her a smell. Oh my golly. The greatest thing about a beer like this is it's such a light style that the barrel really shines on the nose. Lots of oak, lots of vanilla, lots of tannins. The, the whiskey even comes popping through the uh, Tennessee whiskey. Get a little bit of that almost like a leather, some apricot, pepperiness. Oh, it just, it just smells divine. And the peaches are just there right in the background mixing in. And there is a little bit of a tart note to it, too. I'm excited. Let's try it. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's exquisite. The, uh, the Saison just kind of adds a almost, uh, neutral graininess and then a little pepperiness on the back end. Um, the peaches add a whole rounded sweetness from the forefront all the way to the end. And then the barrel just blasts. You get that, uh, you get those oaky tannins, you get that vanilla, you get that, uh, like uh, molasses, you get that little touch of uh, of uh, like fig. Oh, it's it's a beautiful, beautiful beer. And that's ten point five percent alcohol, and I'm not really getting much of any alcohol warming. There's there's a little bit of maybe an alcohol astringency at both sides of my mouth, like at the back of my back of my mouth, but on both sides of my tongue. Which I actually, if I didn't know this was 10.5% alcohol, would just think it's coming from the pepperiness. But uh Yeah, it's 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 to die for. This is a great beer. And they didn't make all that many of these. I mean it was a limited run. I don't know if the bottle says how limited the run is. Um Excuse me. No, it doesn't say it, but I, I think it was in like the 1,000 bottle range, if, if that. But this is a spectacular beer. Sorry guys, we were paused for a second there. We did have a uh, dilemma to take care of. Uh, where was I going? 
I don't even know, a spectacular beer. Spectacular beer. Peaches from the beginning to the end. Pepperiness at the end. A neutral wheat, weediness up at the forefront. Uh, beautiful oak tannins and fig and vanilla. Tiny bit of uh, alcohol warming just at the sides of the tongue that could be mistaken for pepperiness uh, because it's a little drying. That is one of the best beers I've had this year. Out of 10 on that, 9.5. I love this beer. Uh, I don't like that it's a Saison that's 10.5% alcohol by volume, but we won't get into that. This is a spectacular beer, and thank you, Steve, for making it. You need to make more. Thank you, guys. Bye.